Hi boys and girls, it's Ms. Lemonade. Today we are going to be talking about quilts and I brought a very special quilt to show you. This is a quilt that I've had for a very long time. My grandmother made it for me when I was a little girl. I slept under it every night. Now if you look at it, you can see that it's made of lots of different pieces of fabric and they don't really match. But that's okay because a quilt is supposed to be a collection of little pieces of fabric that came from different things. For instance, if you outgrow a shirt or if you have a stain on your pants, instead of throwing those clothes away or giving them away, you could cut them up into squares and sew them together to make a quilt. And the thing that makes a quilt different from other kinds of blankets is that a quilt usually has lots of memories with it. I can look at each piece of fabric and tell you the story that goes with it. I can look at this piece of fabric and remember that this used to be a shirt that I had when I was little. I can look at this piece of fabric and remember a pair of pajamas that my sister had when she was little. Every single piece of fabric, every single square and rectangle in this quilt is a memory from when I was a little girl. So a quilt is made up of lots of different pieces, of lots of different designs, and it is okay that they don't match or they don't go together because a quilt is full of memories. Now today you are going to listen to some stories about quilts, and when the stories are over, you will have the opportunity to draw and color something that is special to you, a memory to you. Now you may not sleep with a quilt like I did. You may have a stuffed animal or a special pillow or you may have a special blanket that's not a quilt. But at the end of today's story, I want you to think about something that is very special to you that you love to sleep with. You are going to draw a picture of that thing or color that blanket and then you are going to write a story about it. Tell me where you got it. Where did it come from? Did someone give it to you? Was it a present? Maybe it belonged to your older brother or sister. Memories are very important when we put them with quilts and loveys or stuffed animals or things that we have because when we get older and we look back, it makes us happy and it makes us remember all the love that we had. So today, I want you to think very hard about something that's special to you and I want you to draw a picture of it in your very best handwriting, your very best coloring, and then I want you to write the story that goes with it. Be sure it's an interesting story and that it has lots of descriptive words and adjectives and details. So do a really good job and I hope you have lots of fun talking about your loveys and your blankets and your quilts, just like I like to talk about mine and show other people the memories I had from when I was a little girl.